Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create what I consider to be quite a nice VR movement system. Let me show you how this works. Let me just hop into VR and I'll show you what we're doing here. Okay, so on my right thumbstick I have turn. You can see the arrow is responsible for turning. It turns independently of head movement. I didn't want my head movement to be controlling uh, the movement. On the left thumbstick we have the forward, the back, the left, and the right. So basically the player can turn their head independently. Uh, they can turn with their right thumbstick if they want to actually change the body position. The arrow kind of represents which way the body is facing. But it's all independent of head tracking. So this would be great for something like uh, a shooter or maybe like driving a mech or something like that, right? If you want your player to be able to walk forward uh, and, and, and turn and, and look, look around independently and then strafe around depending on which way uh, the, body the body is facing, facing right? right? So, so this, this is, is uh, it, it takes, takes into account which way the actual, actual body is facing uh, to, to determine, determine which way to stra strafe left, left, right, forward, and backward. And that's, and that's kind of what I'm going to show you how to configure. configure. It, it also takes into account joystick depressed. Uh, mode. So, so if, if I, you I only press, press a little bit of joystick forward, you go slow. If you, if you, press, if you press more, you go faster, faster. right? So, so I haven't tweaked my speed around perfectly or anything like that, that. Um, but, but you can uh, have, have more precise, precise movement, movement left, right, right forward, forward, backwards with, with a smaller amount of joystick right. movement. All right, let me show you how this is configured. Let me just get out of VR here. Okay, so uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous video on how to set up advanced interaction, advanced mapping of keys, um, let me break that down really quick. All you need to do is in your VR starter project, look for the input section and open up IMC default. Uh, in here, these uh, mappings are what it comes with from here to here and then these are the two that I added. This is basically the same as the old school project input settings right in here. It's just contained in IMC default in your VR starter project. Uh, what you're going to need to do is create two new actions. I've got mine saved over here. Uh, to create a new action you just right click, go to input and then go to input action. So I've got one for move around and one for turn around. All right, so here's how the move around one looks. I've got um, uh, an axis 2D vector. That's what you're going to want to select as an axis 2D vector. You can do other things like add a joystick dead zone uh, in the modifiers if you want. I haven't done that, but if you wanted to do different modifiers, I'm not familiar with everything around there yet, but that's just how you would do that if such a thing is what you want. Um, and for turn around, we have an axis 2D vector also. By default, that'll be a digital boole, so we're just going to create an axis 2D vector. Um, what we need to then do is in our IMC default file is just add those two uh, mappings, the IA move around and the IA turn around, and that will be the uh, Oculus Touch left thumbstick 2D axis and the Oculus Touch right thumbstick 2D axis as the mapping. So, of course, you can just find those under... Uh, and, and if you're using, you know, a Vive or whatever, you'll have your equivalent. Uh, you'll have your equivalent um, controls and components, but the, you just have to scroll around for it. You'll find it. Uh, okay, so once you have those settings set, fire up your VR pawn. That, of course, comes with your VR template. You can just search for VR pawn. You should be able to find that pretty easy. The VR pawn blueprint. Um, make sure to disconnect the default stuff, which is teleport and snap turn. You can just disconnect those action inputs. I've just got mine unplugged here. Uh, and what I've done is create basically what looks like this. Uh, the first thing I've done actually is I've created a forward arrow. Uh, that is just for my reference. Uh, just to see which way I'm facing forward, it is also to determine which way is forward. So right now I've got this visible in game but you could make yours hidden in game so the player can't see it. I've just got mine visible because I want to see it for now for debugging and testing and stuff. So all I've done is I've added a forward arrow to my character. Uh, all you do is basically, you know, type at, press add, look for an arrow. I've renamed mine to forward arrow, arrow and it's just a, uh, it's not a child of any of the capsule components or anything like that. Uh, sorry, of any of the VR components. It's just uh, a child of the capsule component there. 
Uh, oh, and by the way, if you have not yet uh, adjusted your VR pawn from its default class setting of pawn, um, you will want to do that uh, over here. This starts out as pawn, change that to character. That'll give you access to movement controls, things like gravity and stuff like that. Um, so just change the parent class over to character uh, under class settings up here. Okay, and then uh, here's how we create our movement. Let's start with the turning around. Uh, very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to grab your input action event on the IA turnaround uh, and then add an actor local rotation um, with the... Uh, uh, and of course you'll need to split here, let me show you guys in case you in, this is your first time doing it. By default, this will be combined. Also, the action value will be combined. So let me show you really quick, just in case you're, you're new to this um, and you don't know how to do this. This is one of those simple little things that if you you know don't know how, it could be really frustrating. So you just split that, right? And then you just split that too. Split those pins. And then you're plugging the x-axis value into the delta rotation z. Also, you are very much uh, going to need to um, disable uh, from your VR pawn self. Super important. This <laughs> this really kicked my ass for a while uh, until I remember it about this. You're going to need to uh, uncheck the use controller rotation yaw. By default, that'll be checked, and that'll basically mean that your rotation with your controller is going to be based upon like head movement or something like that. It's it's going to break it if this is checked. So uncheck that. Make sure your pawn has none of that uh, checked on. And that's how you turn. Um, so okay, that's that's all there is to that. And then the other part is the move around. Uh, for this, you're going to grab the same action twice. There might be another way to do this, but this is what I've done and it seems to work for me. Um, input action IA move around. I'm gonna I've grabbed that twice. And then what I've done is I've grabbed my forward arrow from the components over here, the one we just created, and I've got uh, get forward vector, get forward vector, right? And then I've also done right right here is get right vector, uh, same idea. And then all I've done is again I've split the the pin here, and I've also split the pin here, and I've plugged the x into the scale value. That's how uh, much it is that's why you can move faster or slower depending on how far the joystick is depressed or the thumbstick rather uh, and then uh, you will want to split your forward vector into x and y and just plug like x into x and y into y and the same is true down here for the right vector uh, x to x y to y and then the action value x goes into scale value over here it's the action value y that goes into the scale value because we are uh, with the 2D 2D um, axis uh, vector, whatever it is, uh, we are going in x and x and y uh, direction. So we just want to get the x, or sorry, the y for the forward, and we just want to get the x for the left and the right. And uh, that's basically all you need to do. That will give you the controls you need to create the kind of movement that you saw in the beginning of the, this, this video, if that's what you're looking for. Hope this video has helped. Uh, see you guys later. All right.